Hi, I'm Rick, Community Manager for Adobe Voice. This series will give you some helpful tips and tricks to help you tell a great story with the app. We've had a couple of requests from our app users on how to optimize and adjust your sound for the best possible quality while using Adobe Voice, and we're going to give you a few tips for doing that today. Adobe Voice automatically adjusts your recordings to even out the volume of your voice and make you sound great. However, there are a few additional tips that can help you get the best sound quality possible. First, record in a quiet room with no ambient noise. Next, keep your iPad at a consistent distance throughout, about six inches away. Talking directly into the orange record circle is recommended, and setting your iPad down on a table or another flat surface can really help. Record in one session, in the same location, because moving environments and recording on different days can change the way you sound. If you must record in a loud environment, try using a headset with a microphone, like the one that comes with your smartphone. Another tip to help your audio in Adobe Voice is the ability to delete a voice narration. Sometimes you've got a project with a page that you want to keep, but it has a voice narration that no longer goes with your story. If you look at the orange record button and track to the right, you'll see a small gray circle with a timestamp. That time is the duration of your current voice recording. If you tap that, you'll get the option to delete the voice recording and keep the page intact in your project. Voice offers a selection of 37 background music tracks that were designed to work well with your voiceover and set a variety of moods, but you can also import any song from your personal iTunes library. To pick music from your own library, tap Music at the top of the screen and swipe to the right. You'll see my songs are listed as the far right choice. and I'm going to tap Choose from my iPad and it brings up my entire music library so that I can pick a song that's appropriate for my story. Say I wanted to have something like Jerry Rafferty's Baker Street. It'll pull the song in and it will give me a chance to listen and make certain it's what I want and then I can pause it and I can play back the particular page. Always try to record in a quiet environment, but if you do have to record in a noisy environment, and I can use the slider just above the voice project screen to adjust my volume up or down on my background music so my voice is augmented by the background music and not drowned out. There you have it. A few quick tips to help you get better sound when recording your Adobe Voice project and telling your story to the world. Thanks for joining me for the latest tip. Remember, I'm always available in our support forum and on our social channels to help answer your questions about the app. Let me know if there's a tip you'd like to know more about and we'll try to tackle it here. Have a great day.